Hello players, I have put some smart things in my house. I'm not one of them. So the whole system runs on something called Home Assistant. Home Assistant is software that runs on something like a Raspberry Pi. I actually have it running in a virtual machine on my server. It works as a hub for all of your smart devices and it lets you get more complex with automations and can do things that might not be possible with devices on their own or in their own apps. Everything is in one place, one app, and it can expose devices to Oh Baby or Google Home that aren't supported by Oh Baby or Google Home. I'll explain that as we go around. We'll start with the most obvious, lights. There are two choices for lights. You can have smart bulbs or smart switches. I've gone for a combination of both. So in the living room, there is a Wi-Fi smart bulb, so it can dim, change color, and all that good stuff. In the kitchen and a few other rooms, we have RF light switches. These are radio frequency which talk to a box, which then talks to Home Assistant. The RF switches are just like normal switches, but can be controlled with something that sends RF signals. Normally they're remote, but the RM3 Pro also does this as well. The problem with the Wi-Fi bulbs is that the light switch has to be on all of the time for it to work. So I blanked off the old switch so it's always live, not recommended, and use these. These are remote buttons that can be put anywhere. They also talk to the RF box, which talks to Home Assistant, which turns the light on or off. We have smart lights on the inside and outside porch. The outside light turns on after sunset and about turns off about 11 o'clock, and the inside light turns on when either the front door is opened or the porch door is opened if it's after sunset, and turns off by itself after three minutes. So if somebody rings the doorbell from outside, that will automatically pause the television in the living room, so that's pretty cool. So that's just a standard RF wireless doorbell that talks to that RF box upstairs that I mentioned earlier. So this is a Logitech Harmony Hub. This handles the infrared for all of the living room, so the TV and a few other bits and pieces. There's a Sonos Play One speaker there. This one's one of my favorites. Actually, we'll turn the lights off for these ones. Okay. Oh, baby. Turn on the candles. Ah! This is another one of my favorites. Oh, baby. Turn on media. I could dedicate a whole video to this part. There's some custom code in there and all sorts going on to make this work. But check this out. So we've got the amber light going on behind it. That's pretty cool. But this, this is something special. Oh baby. Game on. Welcome back to the Master Race. <laughs> Welcome to the server room. So I apologize for the lighting, the wires and the cables and the noise. Uh, yeah, hopefully we won't be in here too long, but this, uh, so this is a 44 terabyte Unraid server. This is where the VM runs that runs Home Assistant. You don't need anything like that to run it. It'll run on something like this, a uh, little Raspberry Pi 3, uh, or the 4, 4 is better, obviously. Uh, this is the Asus, uh, I forget which model number it is now, but it's an AC something. But it is part of the mesh network I have at home. You can drop as many of these routers into your network as you like and set up a mesh network. So that really helps with all the wireless stuff like light bulbs and things not getting enough signal. Having a couple of those dotted around throughout your house, possibly one in the garden later on in the year, is a really good way to go. So this is a Sonoff RF bridge. This has been modified with custom firmware to sniff out those RF signals from the sensors on the fridge and the freezer and the doors and the doorbell this listens for those wireless signals and then transmits them over Wi-Fi to Home Assistant running in this virtual machine. That then carries out whichever command we tell it to. This is an MVR for the security cameras that we have outside. This is just a modem from the ISP. This is a Broadlink RM Pro. This can actually send out RF signals and 
learn them. So those light switches that you saw that are radio controlled are coming from this box here, this sensor signal. This is told to send a signal by Home Assistant running on there. Are you confused yet? Good. This is just a switch because we have a lot of network devices up here that run throughout the house. And this runs into the living room downstairs. So that is a direct connection to the router there. Now actually that runs through the switch. Either way, that goes downstairs. So we have hard wiring downstairs. I have these sensors on the fridge and freezer doors. So if they are open for too long. The fridge door is open. The fridge door is Yeah, that doesn't get annoying quickly. There is a smart plug on the washing machine, so that talks to Home Assistant, and that tells Oh baby to announce that the washing machine is finished. I also have a night sound command that puts Sonos into night mode and lowers the echo speakers. This automatically comes on at 11 p.m. and restores to the previous volumes at 5 a.m. Another automation is that at midnight Oh baby will quietly give a five minute warning and turn all the lights off, at which point I could tell her to stop if I'm still awake. So that's where I am right now. There's still more to come. Uh, there's a couple of things that's still dumb that I want to smartify <laughs> and uh, lights, more lights, lights everywhere. But if you want more videos or a bit more in depth about how I set it all up, let me know in the comments. And until next time, keep playing.